Hello, everyone. Um, my name's Katrina, and I'm a, a student advisor at UQ. And um, today we're going to be doing the Get Excited for Your Life at UQ workshop. Um, I'm also joined by Claire, who's, um, if you have any questions, she'll be able to direct you with those, um, and you can ask in the chat area. Um, so I'll just start this with um, an acknowledgement. Um, oops. Um, the University of Queensland acknowledges the traditional owners and their custodianship of the lands on which we meet. We pay our respects to their ancestors and their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country. We recognise their valuable contributions to Australian and global society. Um, so the content of the session, um, we're going to be talking about how to make friends and connect um, whilst you're at UQ to make the most of your experience here. Um, we're going to have a, a, a bit of direct you to some UQU clubs and societies that you can take part in um, and some of the support networks like peer mentoring. Um, we're going to talk about get set and study bubbles briefly and how do you get involved at UQ. Um, so I'll just go into that. Um, so this first page, we're going to talk in more detail um, a bit later on, but um, this is about UQ Life. So there's a, a UQ Life web page there, and you can all get a copy of this at the end of the um, presentation. It will get emailed to you. Um, so UQ Life web page has a whole bunch of the details that we're going to talk about, and that's where you can find a lot of it. Um, there's also UQ Life socials. So if you do Instagram um, or Facebook, we've got two addresses there that you can um, follow to keep up to date with what's happening around the campus. Um, even if you haven't come here yet, that information will all be there and you can access it. Um, we're going to talk about UQ Life events as well, um, study bubbles, the UQ mentoring, um, which is uh, the peer social and industry uh, mentoring programs. Um, and then down below, just a bit more on YouTube and um, UQ. Just, uh, um, so the clubs and societies, uh, we have so many, there's too many to list. There's over 220 clubs and societies. So, um, you know, you'll never be bored. You can come and join on and find something that interests you um, and make friends that way and find people that have similar interests. Um, there's a, a, a selection on this screen, but there's lots more. So there's like Pokemon fan clubs and civil engineering student association um, there's martial arts, we've got international food societies and um, plus, plus, plus. So um, it's a good idea to get on and have a look at um, what's available and what you might be interested in. Um, get set. So you've got a QR code there that you can scan if you'd like to register, which makes it really simple. Um, get set. It is a group mentoring program designed to help new students connect, make friends and get to know UQ. So um, you really want to join this at the very start because um, because you connect with a small group of people. So um, being in at the beginning and sort of bonding um, is really important. It's a six week program kicking off in week one. Um, you'll connect with your fellow first years in your faculty, um, learn from experienced student mentors about UQ and uh, the campus. Um, there's facilitated weekly topics, tips and meetups online and or on campus. I think they're planning on doing um, a social event or two each week. Um, and you can attend the social events together. So if you're feeling a bit shy or you just want to get to know some people, it's a really great way of connecting in there. And so we've got a little um, link to that as well. Um, and uh, yeah, just a bit more information on it and the QR code again, just a, a, a bit of um, a bit more information if you'd like it. So just head on into that uh, QR code and see um, more details behind that if you're interested in that one. Um, study bubbles. I don't know how many of you are still going to actually be studying offshore, um, but we do still have something called study bubbles on the go, which allows you to connect with um, people where you're living. So if you're about to um, come to the university or if you're going to be studying in another country, then um, you can see who's around that's near you and you can get together um, either online or in person to study together great way to get uh, a connection going and um, um, there's also access to study information and resources and you can attend events and workshops some of those uh, or most of those would be online 
Um, then we have Get Involved, um, which is um, volunteering, mentoring, student voice and student representation. You volunteer your time and you get lots back from it. It's something that's really good to have on your resume, for one thing, when you want to apply for jobs. Um, but also it's a great way to socialize and give a bit back into community. Um, there's uh, transition support. So um, with Get Connected, um, there's a cultural and linguistically diverse community that meets on Wednesdays at Student Central from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. every week. Um, they provide transition support. They bring a range of services to the students just to help you um, when you're feeling homesick and getting used to being in Australia. For a lot of you, it's your first time to Australia and indeed Brisbane. Um, so they will show you about insurance, finances, culture, fostering new friendships um, and how to basically um, live and get around in Australia. So there's quite a bit of support and information from that. Um, uh, around mental health, settling into a new environment has its challenges and homesickness is definitely one of them. Um, getting used to new culture um, and it's just a new way of life. So they've got a range of activities and supports and services to assist with positive well-being and mental health at UQ and uh, Greater Brisbane. And um, em employability as well. So um, it, there's information around how to budget um, and how to um, try and find some work while you're here if you wanted to work part time and your visa allows it. Um, there is also available English for academic communication. So we have courses that are free of um, cost and they're interactive workshop opportunities to practice language and receive feedback. Um, they will help you communicate clearly and effectively in academic contexts. Um, and they also, again, are, are, are a way to get to know people and socialize. So they help you take part in academic life at UQ and they help you achieve your learning goals. Um, and they can be one of your five supplementary activities for a UQ Employability Award. Um, if you want to know more about those awards and the information, there's a link there to, to get more details and you can also register right there. Um, also wanted to talk about the UQ Neurodiversity Hub. So if you identify as neurodiverse, and that could be, um, it could be autism, ADHD, dyslexia, dyscalculia, there's a whole um, bunch of um, different areas in neurodiversity. Um, you don't actually have to have a diagnosis. So if you, if you think you might identify in one of those areas, you can still take part in this. Um, so we have um, support and um, classes available. In semester two, they'll be running ADHD coaching sessions every Monday, um, 24th of July to the 28th of August from 11 till 12. Um, there's a neurodiversity meetup on Wednesdays from the 19th of July to the 28th of August from 9 to 11 a.m. And a neurodiversity check-in workshop on the 3rd of August from 10 until 11 a.m. Um, they they help with a number of things um, and the, it's a really great way to to connect in if you think you might be neurodiverse and to meet other people also neurodiverse if you want to sort of form your own support areas. Um, and then we've got upcoming information sessions um, for you guys if you're coming in. So congratulations. Now you have an understanding of ways to connect with the other students um, and you can continue to prepare for your life at UQ, whether you're going to be joining us in person or online. Um, so you can attend other sessions that we've got on the go as well. So we've got a workshop called Getting Started, your first weeks at UQ. Um, that's compulsory for all international students. A student's guide to enrolling and timetable if you haven't already selected your classes for this semester. How to complete UQ Essentials, online modules for international students, and finding accommodation in Brisbane, which is um, always a, a really important big one there. Uh, details on sessions and to register ad attendance, please visit our webpage. And um, then we just have a short survey here that you can um, click on the QR code if you don't mind and just give us um, a bit of feedback that you were in attendance and um, what you may have learnt it. So it's just a quick workshop, this one. But um, if you do have any questions about anything we've said, please um, feel free to email um, student.services at uq.edu.au. And I think Claire's put that in the chat as well. Um, does anyone have any questions right now that they would like to ask? Um, if not, I'll just wait to hear from Claire and um, then we will close this for today.
Okay, so it looks like there are um, no other questions for now. So um, thank you for joining us. And um, we look forward to welcoming you, whether you're online or in person at UQ. Thank you and goodbye.